Let's dive into the process of creating a routing in SAP, which outlines the operational steps required to produce a finished product. To do this, we'll enter transaction code CA01 and press enter. First, we need to enter the material number for which we want to create a routing. We'll enter material bucket 100. Next, we need to enter the plant where the operations will be taking place. We'll enter plant MI00. The other required field on this screen is the key date. This is the date that our routing becomes available in the production process. We'll leave this as today and press continue. That brings us to our create routing header detail screen. In the general data field, we'll look at the usage field. We'll see all our usage options by pressing the magical button. Here, we want to choose one for production. This makes the routing available for the production of the materials. Next, we'll look at the overall status field. Again, we'll look at our options. In here, we'll choose status 4 for release general. This ensures the routing is available for later production activities. Now look at the lot size from field. And we'll enter one here. That means we want to use this routing when we're manufacturing a minimum lot size of one all the way up to a lot size 100 million. Our header data is complete and now we'll click the operation button. In our first line item, we'll enter our first operation. First, we need to choose the work center where we want this operation to be done. We'll enter work center BKASSY. Next, we have to enter our control key. The control key helps determine if the activity can be performed at the work center. Press the magical button and scroll down. We'll choose PP01 for in-house production. Next, we enter the description of what actually happens in this operation We'll say the back kit are assumed here. Next, we'll double click this line to get into our operation details screen. We'll see that the standard values. From here, we enter our time to set up for this operation. We'll say two minutes, so we enter two, and then in the unit, we'll enter mean for minutes. If in reality, it takes a longer amount of time, this will be reflected in the cost of the goods manufactured. Then in the machine time, we'll say five minutes to accomplish this assembly operation. And in labor, we'll say 10 minutes. This is the time it will take to tear down this operation. We're not content with this operation and we'll click the back button to go back to our operation overview screen. From here, we could add as many more operations as necessary, for example, we could add a, a packaging operation, then an inspection operation. 
We will click to save our routing now. We are now received a success message from the system saying that our routing was created and saved again. We've got our build of materials, which is our list of ingredients to create a finished product. The writing is the specific instructions or steps involved to get the work done to manufacturing our products at a work center. By creating a writing in SAP using the CA01 transaction code, companies can effectively plan and execute their production processes with clarity and efficiency.